lovers, I am back at you with the challenge for today's Book a Tubeathon video challenge day five, I believe. It's Friday, right? Yes, I think so. I absolutely love this challenge. So basically, today for the Book Tubeathon challenge, I have to pick a class if I were to teach like a lecture or a course, and I can pick whatever class I'd like to teach. And then I'm going to pick some books that you'd have to read during the course. And one of those books have to be a book that, I am going, that I'm reading during my Booktubeathon week. Basically, pretty simple, super fun. So what I think I picked was developing mythical creatures in storylines. I think that's what I wanted to do. So basically, I realized this is not like a course on something else. This has to do with like literature and writing or movie making and like just storyboarding obviously it's not that creative but it's something that i'm really passionate about i love mythical creatures and i would love to do like a lecture on it or like a class or something like that i think it would be super cool so i'm going to start with a few different ones when i talk about different like mythical creatures i also mean like aliens kind of thing uh so yes the first book that i'd have everyone read is the humans I read this book quite a long time ago, but it's basically about this... It's about this alien who comes down to Earth and impersonates this scientist to delete certain scientific documents that um, will develop the world sciences in a way that these aliens don't want to happen. And so this is really interesting because here you kind of can see in the mind of someone who is like a mythical creature or like an alien and how he kind of perceives the human species, which is just really, really interesting, and his point of view on the world, also recommend. The next book is also kind of a science fiction book, and that is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. This book is basically about loads of different species um, that all have to cooperate on a spaceship. And it's super interesting because all these different species have different ways of living and different cultures. And I think when you create a mythical creature, it's really important to kind of understand human nature as well, to be able to see how creatures kind of develop in different habitats, uh, with different abilities and that kind of thing. And this is a really, really good book if you want to study kind of group mythical creature, I don't know, so sociology, I don't know, like that kind of thing. Yes. The next book is if using mythical creatures for fairy tales. So this book is Stardust by Neil Gaiman, also a beautiful cover, isn't it? Um, yes, and this is basically about this guy who goes to retrieve a fallen star for a girl that he's in love with so that he can get her heart, basically. And this is such a great book, by the way, but it also has so many fun mythical creatures that are just trees or raindrops or trolls or goblins and that kind of thing. And it's told in a fairy tale point of view, so in that way it is a very interesting study kind of mythical creatures book. The next book is Perry and Me, written by Ross Montgomery. And this book is basically about a girl who discovers this alien on the seashore. And this is kind of the way children react to aliens. This is also a children's story. And the way that aliens and mythical creatures can be interpreted um, through children's literature uh, and also through a child's point of view. Also a very great, good book. The last book uh, or comic is Saga. This is volume one and this one is more for developing the characteristics of mythical creatures, creature um, components and abilities they have in themselves. This is more like a great physical representation of different um, mythical creatures and what they could look like and that kind of thing for developing more um, a visual imagination. So that is everything for this lecture and this is also the book that I read this week and that's why. So that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this challenge and I will see you guys soon. Bye!